in today's video, I've partnered up with Neutrogena to bring you their new Hydro Boost range. Since I made the move from Birmingham to London, I have noticed a difference in my skin. I've also noticed that I've had to take a lot more effort into basically taking care of my skin. Because of the amount of pollution and just dirt in general there is compared to where I was living, which was more kind of countryside. It wasn't Birmingham Central, it was basically the Midlands. When I come home from a long day out, or not even a long day out, just a couple of hours here and there, my skin always feels crazy, crazy clogged up. And the first thing I wanna do as soon as I get in, go through my cleansing routine. That is the first thing I wanna do. And for me, one of the most important things is to have a quick and easy routine so that I can keep up with it and so that my skin can keep up with you know, my lifestyle, I suppose. I've been using these new products from the Neutrogena Hydro Boost range. I always pick up new Neutrogena products here and there. So this is perfect for me because it's all about putting the hydration back in your skin. And we all know, or if you don't know, I'm about to tell you that the key to good skin is to keep it hydrated. If you don't drink enough water, your skin looks rubbish. If, you're, if you don't keep your skin moisturized and hydrated, it's not gonna look its best. So the key is to keep it hydrated and to kind of help lock that in. This is what the new range does, which is so perfect for me. So I'm just gonna go through with you guys what I've been doing to keep my skin hydrated and basically to help it bounce back to what it was. So the first thing that I do when I come home is I will take the Hydro Boost Cleanser Facial Wipes. And these are really good because they remove your mascara super easy and they can even remove waterproof mascara. So nice and easy. I usually only need one and they're not like a lot of facial cleansing wipes that I use where you feel like your skin is quite dry afterwards and like the first thing that you wanna do is stick some moisturizer on. They actually leave you feeling really, really hydrated because Obviously, it's the Hydro Boost range and the key is to keep your skin hydrated. So, I've been loving these. This is the first thing I'll do. And then, guys, what I've been recently loving, basically jumping on the bandwagon of my cellar water. This is basically a no rinse cleanser. What I've been doing is I've been getting a little bit of this and putting it on just like a cotton, a cotton uh, wool pad thing. Removing the rest of my face after the makeup wipe so literally this will fully cleanse the rest of my face and i don't need to rinse my face with water after that it's literally kind of just like a wipe away effect wipe away and i'm done after using this my skin feels super super soft and super super supple you know normally after i cleanse my face i'm like because it's so tight it feels like that and it saves me so much time because I don't have to rinse afterwards, which for me can be such a pain because when I wash my face and water goes down my elbows and I have to dry it, it's just such a pain. So the Hydro Boost Micellar Water for me has been a must. Okay, then what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer. I'm just going to open up and show you guys. It's like a nice pale blue color. And it smells so fresh. Basically, I will put on a very light, light layer of this after I've cleansed my face and that puts the moisture back in my face as well as locking it in and releasing it during the day. It literally lasts the whole day. So I use this when I've come home and I've cleansed. I also use this in the morning after cleaning before applying my makeup too. You only need a really light layer and it's so lightweight. It's literally as if you've kind of like patted your face with a cool towel and you just feel refreshed and moisturized. It's such a nice feeling especially with this hot weather guys. <laughs> the Hydro Boost range actually works a lot with hyaluronic acid, which is something that our bodies produce anyway. The formula contains a lot of hyaluronic acid in it and that is what helps to lock the moisture in and keep you hydrated for the whole day, which for me has been really quite fantastic. Using those three products so far has really helped my skin to bounce back. I'm quite happy with my skin right now. They do have a few more products in the range that you guys can uh, have a look at and see what's more suited to you and your routine and your lifestyle, etc. But for me, it's been the wipes, the micellar water, followed by the moisturizer. I have also tried one of their other moisturizers, which is like a gel cream. So this is the water gel, which is the lighter texture, but then they have a gel cream, which is a bit more creamier. And that one, sometimes I'll use that instead in the evening rather than this one. My skin has totally bounced back, guys, from the move. And I think I've helped it to adapt to the kind of London atmosphere. And guys, 
especially for you girls who are so who are like into makeup a lot of you guys are how do you get your base so flawless things like that the key to having flawless makeup is having good skin underneath that's like the most important thing if you manage to keep your skin healthy and hydrated your your makeup will apply amazingly it makes such a huge difference so that's what I've been using so far guys and I can safely say that my skin has officially bounced back talking of bouncing back guys I thought I'd share with you a little story of a time in my life where I pretty much had to actually bounce back not just my skin bouncing back but like I actually had to bounce back from something myself so a lot of you guys obviously you know what I do you know I'm a blogger I talk about fashion I also talk about things that relate to fashion I also talk about lifestyle mum things makeup beauty all that stuff I talk about it all I also design clothes because that is one of my first passions in life so some of you guys know kind of how I got into it but a lot of you guys I'm guessing don't basically when I dropped out of uni I thought to myself I'm gonna do this designing and blogging shenanigan business at home and I'm gonna try and just make it myself I'm just gonna do it myself and obviously when you make that decision you know it's it's kind of a difficult one to make I suppose so anyway back then I used to blog a lot I also used to design a lot of clothes and I used to do a lot of styling I was really into styling at that at that time and actually what I really wanted to do is uh, get a job as a stylist what I did was I applied for a TV competition you have like a styling brief and you put together the outfits like a big competition and the person who got through to the next round would go on to the TV live show it was very exciting and kind of like whoa and it was one of my first ever TV experiences I got through and I was super super excited we were allocated a stylist somebody who's already in the field who's who was already successful kind of in it uh, and that stylist would come shopping with us over a two-day weekend period and kind of help us giving us giving us advice and stuff on the brief that we were giving so I had the brief of um, putting together three looks that were androgynous and to be honest with you I found it quite difficult when you're you know um, strong-minded like me and then you have somebody almost ordering you about not ordering you about but almost telling you what to do when you have to listen to someone else sometimes you people like me don't really like that so it was my first experience filming <clears throat> and I ended up crying on TV I just broke down because the pressure was too much for me and when I look back at it now I think god why did I cry really like I mean why did I cry I ended up crying on TV it's just so lame like I cried over something so stupid and so the pressure was too much and I ended up ended up crying and the producer was like this is great for telly, you're gonna get the sympathy vote. Keep crying. As soon as I started crying as well, the cameras weren't even rolling, but as soon as I started crying, cameras out, let's film this. And I was just like, this is horrible. I really honestly hated it. And for me, that, you know, since then I've done a lot of TV kind of work and I'm a bit more familiar with it, you know, the ins and outs of it and stuff. Anyway, we finished the challenge, we got the three looks together and then do a live show where our models modeled the three looks that, that we had chosen over that weekend. During the live show, I killed it, honestly, like I smashed it. I like, I blew everybody out the water up. My three models looked amazing. I completely fulfilled the brief like it just all came, came together right at the end and it looked amazing honestly my three models looked insane the three judges one of them was Alexandra Burke from the X Factor if you remember her and the other one was Giles Deacon a uh, fashion designer I actually can't and the third person was like the head of new look or something I don't know it was somebody in fashion basically and um they all gave me amazing comments and I was like I was feeling great you know I was I was doing really good I was feeling really confident I was like this is great my models came out amazing I've got amazing comments from the judges this is perfect and the guy who was I who I was up against you know he didn't do as well as me I mean he, he probably I mean he did do well you know the models the outfits in the end looked great but the comments from the judges weren't you know he had a bit of criticism from the judges he did Whereas I had nothing, they were like, 
you hit the nail on the head with all three looks, mate. They were all perfect. So, you know. For me, I was like, wow, like I'm definitely getting through to the final, 100%. I'm gonna win this thing, you know what I mean? I'm on it, I'm great. It came to the results and the presenter was like, basically, I didn't get through. And I was in complete shock, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, huh? But obviously I had my like smiley face on. I was like, yay, well done you, to the guy and stuff. And it's really funny because the presenter then goes to me, oh, how are you feeling? And I was like, oh, I'm gutted, obviously. But well done to Alex, or whatever his name was, for getting through, yeah, well done to Alex. But I was, I was like, oh, obviously I'm gutted, and he was like laughing, because um, he probably didn't expect me to be so honest about it. But it's really funny actually, because at the end, you know, behind the scenes when we're all packing up to go home, Alexandra Burke came up to me and she was like, you were robbed. You were robbed of that position, you know, and I was like, <laughs> Thank you, can I get a selfie? <laughs> and um, and then even Giles Deacon was like, you did amazing, well done, you've got, you've definitely got a future in fashion. And so was the other lady. And then she gave me a, a voucher to spend a new look, a couple hundred pounds, which I was like, winning. I could have really let that really knock me down and just give up blogging and fashion altogether because, you know, it's quite a decent competition. And to not get through after, you know, doing your best and really thinking that you produced something really good and even having the comments from judges say, you know, this is amazing, this and that. I didn't let it, you know, stop me. I just thought, well, you know, mate, the talent's still obviously there, so I'm gonna carry on as I'm going because obviously I'm gonna get somewhere myself. And basically, guys, look at me now. I'm very happy and I'm working in the field that I want to be working in and that's all down to me letting that experience motivate me more than ever. I was just like, I'm gonna just work harder and I'm just gonna be like, look at me now. Yeah, that's basically what happened guys, honestly. It's quite fantastic really. If anybody ever knocks you down in life guys or tells you you can't do something or you know, just put a downer on what you're trying to do in general. Don't, don't take, don't let these things get to you. Don't let what these people say have any effect on you whatsoever. You have the control of your future. The control of you is all in your mind, your mind and your hands. Trust me. If you want something, you, you, will, you can go out there and get it. And, and it might take a bit longer than you first thought. Doesn't matter. If you keep going, you will get there in the end. If you want it that bad, you will. Don't let anybody take control of your future other than you. I hope you guys enjoyed my little bounce back story. I used that experience that I had to bounce back and come back even better, you know? Guys, I really wanna know about your bounce back stories, so head on over to my social media. I got an Instagram page, I got a Facebook page, and I got a Twitter page. Links for them will all be in the description, basically Dina Tokyo for all the handles. Uh, and share your bounce back story on there with the hashtag always bounce back. Guys, I've got a few bounce back tips for you guys and we're gonna keep it nice and fun, so I'm gonna write them on balloons for you. First tip, guys. My first tip is, it's a bit of a long one this. Ooh, echo. My first tip, guys, stay motivated, if you can see that. Oops. Next tip, face. You, oh God, I wrote that terror, I wrote that all over the place. Right, if you can see that it says, face your fears. And my last and final tip guys, the most important, be bold and bounce back. It can actually be be bold or be, or even be brave and bounce back. I hope you enjoyed my tips for you guys and I hope you enjoyed my little story time and my new skincare routine. Also, I've got some exciting news for you guys. Keep an eye out on my Instagram page because there'll be a little competition happening on there very soon. And you don't want to miss it, trust me. Make sure you check out the new Hydro Boost range. It is a must have in your skincare routine. Thank you to Neutrogena for working with me to bring this video together and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time, bye!